What is the purpose of TLS cipher suites pairing? Why are they paired the way they are? Why are there predefined sets of cipher suites? Why is creating your own cipher suites not recommended? We need more information about exactly what do you mean in your question, whether you're asking about TLS 1.3 or older versions, from SSL v3 up to TLS 1.2, which worked a little differently, and what kind of thing you would like to do that is currently impossible. If you only intend to use primitives already specified for TLS and just want to mix and match them more freely, like SSH lets you do KEX auth ciphers MAC, the answer is probably partly historic and partly because fewer options means less complexity and more vetting of the allowed options. It is more secure to have as few options as possible. Modern thinking is that cryptographic algorithm agility an idea from the 1990s was a mistake, and modern designs go as far as saying negotiation only causes trouble, and the correct thing to do is to only have a single negotiated value protocol version and to only support a single allowed value long term you may need to support two possible values short term to allow upgrading clients and servers out of sync. So for example, with WireGuard, you get X25519 plus ChaCha20 Poly1305 plus Blake2s. If any of the primitives turns out to be broken, or the joinery turns out to be broken, or something much faster is invented, or people decide to switch to something optimized for very different hardware, then the new protocol will be described with a new protocol identifier and people will switch, and there will not be a recommendation to maintain backwards compatibility for a long time. So, if, for example, you want to do DHE2048 plus ECDSAP256 plus AES128GCM plus SHA256 with TLS 1.2, you can't, because there is no such cipher suite, although pretty standard client and server code could have supported this easily emo, and it would be secure to do emo. This is a restriction that I think buys little improves combinatorics of test set. What if you want to use your own primitive? For example, ECDH using Curve 9767 instead of Curve 25519 or NIST P256? Or what if you want to use symmetric crypto based on Gimli or Zudu also instead of AESGCM or Cha Poly? Well, there are available cipher suite IDs you can use. You can implement a server that chooses your cipher suite if the client offers it, and implement a client that offers it and uses it if it is chosen by the server, and if the connection is made between a supporting client and server then the new cipher suite is used. This is how Google, Cloudflare and Oz did their post-quantum cryptography experiments and how some people used national vanity ciphers RUCH. What if you want to change the PRF, so your client won't need to have a SHA2 implementation suppose you use Blake 3 in the signature and as Mac or something? A cipher suite can do that IIRC. What if you want to change the joinery, the way the primitives are combined? For example, instead of using asymmetric signatures, you want to use ECDH plus HMAC for asymmetric authentication, like noise does. That might be a new value of signature and hash algorithm that changes the flow if offered by client and chosen by the server. Or maybe an extension. I'm not sure. Basically, the idea is that client hello message looks the way the RFC says, but unknown cipher suites are allowed and new extensions are allowed, and an extension can change the protocol completely. Compliant middleboxes should not even expect the server hello, certificate and serve key exchange messages to be present and make sense, because an extension in client hello could mean let's switch to a completely different protocol to a server that supports it. Unfortunately, in practice, middleboxes are the bane of everyone's existence and TLS 1.3 had to do some cosmetically weird things to work, and major alteration to TLS 1.2 flow using extensions would probably not work for clients behind corporate middleboxes. But in your internal network it would be fine. TLS 1.3 encrypts more of the handshake to hide what it does for middleboxes and for privacy, so extending it is easier. What if you want to use something other than BI.509 certificates for asymmetric authentication? TLS spec says you must use BI.509. If you change the protocol enough, it's time to stop calling your creation TLS. This is what Google have done with what they use internally.